A warm welcome everyone. Today we will learn the concept of ones, tens and hundreds with the help of abacus and currency notes. Now we will have some one rupee notes. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have sixth note. Here is seventh. Now eight. Now nine. And here is tenth. These are 10 notes of 1 rupee. In exchange of these 10 notes of 1 rupee, you know we get 1 note of 10 rupees. Yes, 1 10 rupee note is equal to 10 1 rupee notes. That means 10 ones is equal to 1 tenths. Now we take some 10 rupee notes. Here they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. These are 10 notes of 10 rupees and in exchange of these 10 notes of 10 rupees we get 1 note of 100 rupees. That means another name for 10 notes of 10 rupees is 100. 10 tens is equal to 100. Now let's learn these concepts with abacus. Put the beads in one's rod of this abacus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. These are 9 beads. We can put only 9 beads and the 10th bead falls down. So in place of 10 beads of 1's rod we put one bead in tens rod. Yes, ten ones is equal to one tens. Now we put some beads in tens rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, only nine beads can be put in this rod and the tenth bead falls down. Now, in place of these ten beads of tens rod, we will put one bead in hundreds rod. So, ten tens is equal to one hundred. And we get another concept also. Yes. One hundred is equal to 10 tens and 10 tens is equal to 100 ones. Now let's learn to break a number into tens and ones. Here we have some beads. These are 5 beads in ones rod. Now we will put 3 beads in tens rod. The number shown is, yes, the number shown is 35. In number 35 there are 3 tens that means 30 and in number 35 we have 5 ones that is 5 so the number is 35 which is 3 tens and 5 ones. For revision you have to use beads to find the tens and ones in a number and the number names also. The parents will help the students in doing these activities. Thank you.